Hey guys, I'm Aaron and welcome to Aaron Please Fun Fact. In each episode, we're going to invite our friends to ask Aaron some fun facts they really want to know. Today, I have two special little guests. Let's take a look at today's Ask Aaron video. Hi guys, I'm Angela. Hey guys, I'm Andrew. <laughs> we love to watch oh. Peppa Pig. Yeah. <laughs> we love to know facts about Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig. Of <laughs> all the Peppa. Who did Peppa's voice? Thank you, Aaron. Thanks, Andrew and Angela. They're actually my brother and sister. And they're twins. Peppa Pig is a British animation that's originally launched in May 6, 2004. It's about a little pig and her family with her animal friends. This animation has become a worldwide sensation and has a lot of merchandise. <laughs> Hello darkness, my old friend. So today, let's discover some surprising facts about Peppa Pig. And it can even be entertaining for kids like me. Fact number one, who created Peppa Pig? Peppa Pig was created out of three out of work friends. The idea of Peppa Pig was created by two friends. They were animators, out of work, and money. So they asked some help from the producer, Phil Davies. So the three friends came along, asked some money from friends and families, and that was the moment where Peppa Pig was born. Fact number two, who did Peppa's voice? Peppa Pig was voiced by three different people. Since Peppa Pig was debuted in 2004, three people has voiced the title character. Child actors, Lily Snowden Fine for season one, Sally Bloom for season two, and Harley Bird at the beginning of season three. So they all have contributed to the show. Fact number three, how old is Peppa Pig? Peppa Pig is a four year old animated cartoon pig character who has been appearing of the British children's show with the same title ever since 2004. So that makes Peppa Pig really 16 years old, yet she still goes to kindergarten. Fact number four, early scenes of the show has been re-edited. George Lucas isn't the only filmmaker that has tinkered his work after it's been released. In seasons of one and two, when Peppa Pig was driving with her family, they weren't wearing seat belts, so they had to retake it. When they edited it, they also put helmets on the characters when they were biking. So some parts of the show, they really didn't pay attention for the safety issues and they had to retake it because they were children. Fact number five, one episode of Peppa Pig is banned in Australia. The episode, Mr. Skinny Legs, features Daddy Pig talking about spiders can't really hurt you. Spiders are very, very small and they can't hurt you. But don't worry. This is contrary in Australia because one of the most deadly spiders lives in Australia and they don't want to give false advice to children. So ABC in Australia therefore decided that it's blocked in Australia. Fact number six, Miss Rabbit has so many jobs. She received an award from the queen. Miss Rabbit, please come to my palace to get a medal for all your hard work. Bring friends, all the best, the Queen. Ooh. Miss Rabbit has fainted. One of the running jokes in Peppa Pig is Miss Rabbit has so many jobs. Nurse, firefighter, helicopter driver, Uber driver, bus driver, librarian, even a grocery cashier. So basically everywhere Peppa Pig goes with her family for an activity, it's always the same old Miss Rabbit. In the season four, Miss Rabbit earned an award from the Queen of Industry. The downside, the national holiday had to be declared, so she actually had time to collect her prize. Queen Elizabeth 
herself is a fan of the show and watches it with her grandchildren. Fact number seven, Madame Gazelle might be a vampire. The French-speaking Madame Gazelle is a very beloved teacher that taught two generations of children and still looks youthful as ever. She is also passionate of baths and doesn't have a reflection while standing in front of a mirror in the episode of Halloween. Hello, Madame Gazelle. I'm a vampire. Ah, a vampire. That brings back memories of the old country. That's odd. Madame Gazelle doesn't have a reflection in the mirror. Really? How many clothes do you need? Fact number eight. Miss Crocodile is the only non-mammal talking in the show. In Peppa Pig, mammals are superior to other animals, insects, birds, turtles. They can't really talk and act as animals in the wood. Miss Crocodile is, however, the only non-mammal to act, talk like a human. She works in the zoo, keeps other animals in, and wears a cappy. That's really weird. Fact number nine. Peppa Pig's little brother, George, is a genius. He might not be an expert toddler like Edmund Elephant, which knows all about space and basically everything, but George really is the genius of the pig family. He learned to whistle, play the horn in a blink of an eye. Almost impossible, like wiggling your ears. George can wiggle his ears. <laughs> Whistling is harder. George can whistle. Oh. When his sister struggled a lot, he mastered ice skating the first try and did a quadruple axel that no human has ever been able to do. Sure, he can only say a few words like dinosaur. <laughs> dinosaur. But actions speak louder than words sometimes. And George is definitely going to have a bright future when he grow up. Fact number 10. Even non-cannivores love fish. Once Daddy Pig had a barbecue with some vegetarian friends, Mr. Zebra, Mr. Horse, etc. Which were all vegetarian. Although the food on the table were mostly like a vegetarian diet, there were definitely something fishy going on. You can tell by the sardines neatly arranged on the tray, ready to be fried and gobbled. So yes, even some grass-eating animals love meat, sometimes. Also, there's a bonus point. You see how Peppa Pig is designed to have like 2D, and there's two eyes on one side? On the other view, there's gonna be another eye there, which means four eyes. Do you like Peppa? I did. Well, when I was small. Now I don't really watch Peppa anymore, but still, brings back memories. Anyways, I hope you learned something new in that episode. If you did, hit a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, ring the notification bell, leave a comment down below of what episode we should do next. And yep, that's it. See you guys next time. Peace.